Hey everybody, I want to uh, do another broadcast of How to Grow in the Lord. This is Brian Howard. And uh, this particular broadcast today really uh, strikes a nerve. So I had a, a particular situation where someone was, you know, needing advice and I wanted to give them advice and I probably will. But, you know, I just thought, you know, is this advice going to be taken? basically. And so I, I thought about in my own life and in my own heart, how many times do people try to give me advice? And, you know, am I taking that advice like I should? And, you know, from and then I started thinking about the Lord and I was thinking from a spiritual standpoint and from a life standpoint, are the things that, you know, that I knowingly do wrong. You know, is there something that I should be more open-minded about changing, you know? And so this reminded me of, a, of, of an idea that we have used in my family for some time, which is praying for your own heart. So here's what this means. Sometimes you might be, you might, you know, you might be angry with someone or you might have a problem or you might have a, oh, it might be depression, um, you know, just a... You might have resentment, you might have fear, you might have an unwillingness to, to change in a certain area, whatever it may be. But the concept is, you know, praying for your own heart. The book of Proverbs says, guard your heart, for it's the well spring of life, for out of it flows the well spring of life. And um, Jesus said, "If a, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And so, you know, what you think and, and what you believe and what's in your heart really does have a pretty impact, pretty big impact on, on you. So in this, uh, you know, inspirational vlog today about how to grow in the Lord, I just wanted to introduce you to the idea that you can pray for your own heart. And I do this, uh, and I'm going to be doing this today, actually, on one particular issue. Uh, because sometimes, you know, we're, we're very bound up by our circumstances or our maybe it's our past or maybe it's just how we are or maybe all three and we need help outside of ourselves to change and so today the prayer I'm gonna be you know praying is basically you know God show me if there's something that I resist you on show me if there's something that maybe other people have tried to tell me um, where I don't listen or I make excuses, that kind of thing. One of mine is definitely workaholism, and people warn me about it all the time, and it's definitely in balance, and there's good reasons for that. I'm in sales, there's really good reasons for the way I am, um, but frankly, I think I would be this way in in any role, and so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be praying about that today. That's something that, that is certainly a heart issue and a mind issue, and, uh, and just asking God for help on that and you know just praying for you know willingness to see a different perspective on that topic willingness to change how I am so anyway that's the idea you could, I know that's a little deep but life is deep and so my encouragement to you is maybe there's something that you struggle with or maybe there's um, areas that you don't even realize that could be could be better and so pray for your heart or if you know you're not forgiving that person you know pray for Pray for your heart to change and then, you know, try to be open, uh, you know, say that prayer and then trust the Lord that he'll help you with that. So the principle today is praying for your own heart and, um, you know, you have to shepherd your own heart because um, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. It's a pretty big deal, pretty impactful. What you believe, what you think, uh, what you, you know, feel in your heart. Those are real things that will impact you. So anyway, that's my serious but important and powerful uh, idea for you today in how to grow in the Lord. And I hope you try it out. Talk to God about it. Thanks a lot.